if any of you sons of bitches got anything else to say, now's the f***ing time! Oren Ishii is definitely the coolest of the Deadly Viper Assassination Squad, in my opinion anyway. Uh, a few years back on the United Backyard Cutters forums, somebody had posted some pictures of their sword collection, and, and among it was this Shirasaya, which I recognize as a replica of Oren Ishii's katana from the Kill Bill movies. So I asked him where he got it, and he told me it was from Hanzo Swords. And so I went to the site to check it out, especially he told me it was fully functional, which really piqued my interest. And so I went to the site, and I was looking at stuff on the site, <laughs> And rather than, at the time, buy the Oren Ishii Shirasaya, I found this. Which is a fully functional replica of the Bill's Demon Sword from Kill Bill. Numbered and autographed by David Carradine himself. Um, I ended up buying this. Uh, actually, I bought it before his untimely death. And it's one of my most prized possessions. Um, so that was probably two or three years ago at least, three years ago. Once in a while you can still actually find these uh, autographed swords on the Hanzo Swords site. Um, they're quite rare now because there's never going to be any more of them. So I'm glad I got mine when I did. Finally I got around to uh, looking into acquiring the Shirasaya replica. of Oren Ishii. And this is it. Again, it's fully functional. It's 1060 high carbon steel. Uh, like the sword in the movie, it has no bohi. And, uh, like the sword in the movie, it has a plain black saya and with these inlays on the handle, just like this picture here. A common misconception is that these inlays are snowflakes. But if you look carefully at the pictures from the movie or the movie itself and this replica, which is a very nicely done one, the inlays are actually sakura flowers, cherry blossom flowers, which are often depicted with a few loose petals blowing in the wind from them. And that's exactly what they've done here on this one. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it there. There you go. Shirasaya uh, traditionally was simply a, a blank sword sheath to transport and store a katana blade until it got polished by the polisher, until it got mounted and, and uh, the ito put on by the sword mounter and all that. So this would basically, uh, they probably use this also to test the sword blade, uh, make sure it uh, holds up to cutting. And uh, But the popularity of these swords over the years really built up because of their sleek look. Uh, they look great stacked up on a little stand. And then, of course, the movie Kill Bill made them very popular, especially this katana right here. And uh, so they've gone ahead and made these uh, a little bit more solid and nicely fitting in the, in the Saya. Traditionally, they had one Makugi. This one does have one Makugi. And... Uh, of course, it has no guard, uh, no ito. It's just it's just a lacquered wooden handle. Uh, the habaki is very nice. It has the little uh, symbol on there. That's also on the stand. It's very sharp. They come very sharp. This sword has a uh, etched or brushed on hamon. I don't think you'd probably find, uh, especially at the price these things go for, uh, one with a real authentic hamon. But it's nicely done. It's um, done a little bit, uh, a little bit uneven, which makes it look a little more authentic to me, uh, rather than this same wave pattern all the way down the blade. So it's actually a nicely done uh, faux hamon. And uh, this sword came with a plain black sword bag and this nice little stand, nice little wooden stand. Um, this sword's going really cheap right now at Hanzo. It's like $69.95 or something, free shipping in the States. I mean, it's, it's really hard to beat fully functional replica from Kill Bill. 
Uh, I'd like to get some of the others. They have uh, Bill's Demon Sword. They have the Bride Sword. They have Bud's Sword. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'd like to have all of them, uh, maybe in time. Also, um, if you're on Facebook, one of the 770 million Facebook users, Hansel Swords also has a Facebook page. And if you go to the page and click on like, you're going to get notices from them of not only special deals and things that are going on and, and new products and stuff, but they have a giveaway thing on there where pretty much every week they're giving away stuff. They give away um, assist, uh, spring assisted knives, uh, throwing axes, and uh, I think they even gave away a, a fully functional Kill Bill sword. Uh, so there's lots of stuff. They're always giving away stuff every week. So if you're on Facebook, go click like on the Hands of Swords uh, Facebook group page and, and uh, you might just win something. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go out and uh, we're going to try this uh, Shirasaya out. Now you ought to remember that the Shirasaya sword does not have a guard and it has only one Makugi. So extreme caution should be used uh, if you're going to be handling this sword and, and using this sword. Uh, for the most part, I'm going to test it out because I want to see how well it cuts. But uh, the rest of the time, it's going to sit here on this nice little stand and, and uh, look beautiful like it does. Well, as you can see, it's quite sharp, cut very cleanly through those mats and bottles. And in the movie, she cut cleanly right through a guy's neck, decapitating him. I wonder. <laughs> 